Good morning, everybody. It is November 3rd, 2022 in Big Bear Lake, California. And this is the aftermath video. The storm is pulling out right now. So this is gonna be it. And I just wanted you guys to see what town looks like. Um, I am so tired, please forgive me. Um, when you guys leave me comments on this video, I'm, I'm gonna go to sleep. So I'm gonna need you guys to please not be upset with me if I don't respond right away. I gotta sleep, I need to sleep. How are you all doing today? I hope you're doing well. It really is a lovely day so far. I love seeing this town like this. It's so beautiful. I was gonna go out an hour ago, but it was still snowing a little bit. But I just looked at the radar and this is, this is it. So there's nothing else coming. And I wanted to get the calm before the storm in before we get above freezing. So we can still, so we can see all the beautiful weather, or all the snow. And real quickly, it's 29 degrees. now on Big Bear Boulevard, bro. I'll look for C or Channel 5 News. Please leave your message for Liberty Towing. Hey, I just missed you guys' call. Um, I guess I'm supposed to have my car picked up today. Uh, I was told it would, it would be after 11, so my phone's on Do Not Disturb until 10 a.m. Um, so get back to me. I appreciate it. I'm, I'm probably not going to be able to answer, so if you can send a text, that would be great. Thank you. Super cool guys, this is so gorgeous out here. This is absolutely ridiculously gorgeous out here. This is why I moved up here for this type of weather right here, for it to look like this. Just spectacular. so exhausted I was gonna go through the village but we're, we're just gonna do a drive around the entire lake real quickly well not real quickly it's never quickly around the lake but just so you can see for the most part what happened up here and some of the views are, are gonna be magnificent side of the lake.
to use my heated steering wheel right now. I'm excited about that. And it's 27 degrees out here, as you guys can see right there. And that little blue arrow pointing up, that is us. That is where we are, according to the lake. And then I got a time lapse for this whole storm going, so this is on this is day two that it's going, and I will upload that tomorrow. I'll probably stop it at noon today, but I won't upload it until tomorrow. I'm gonna try to get every storm this year with the time lapse. When we get big snowfall, the time lapses are amazing. The reason we're going this way around the lake is because I don't want to go around the lake the other direction and come back and potentially hit a little bit of traffic coming into town. I doubt there's going to be any traffic, I really do, but a lot of times there will be because a lot of people come up when it snows. And so now we're going against the grain for the most part and that will help us out a lot. Obviously there's a couple snowflakes coming down over here. But as I said, this is this is it right here. I just wanted to make sure that we captured everything in town. All the snow before any of it melted. At my house, we got maybe an inch and a half at the most. And I'm in the Moon Ridge here. I'm, I'm right at the beginning of Moon Ridge. I'm telling you, I don't even have snow tires right now, and this car feels like it's doing great. When I stopped back there at the stoplight at Georgia, I had to tap, tap the brakes a little bit, and uh, it was fine. Nothing happened. too bad but it still has a little bit of ice on it Beautiful time of day. It really is so beautiful out here right now. dropping is 26. It's probably as low as it's going to get. It's 
so nice not hitting any traffic though, I'll tell you that. So nice. This town becomes a nightmare when there's traffic, as most of you already know. And that's every snowstorm for the most part. Especially when we have snow on the weekends. Oh my gosh, it's brutal. That's why I really love it when the snow ends early in the morning like this, because not a lot of people want to go outside right now. I do. Hope you guys are doing good. Happy uh, snow day in Big Bear to all of you people. better lake view soon this is where we're at according to oh it's 25 degrees so it did cool off a little more we're almost out here to the dam but we're going to continue this time and go all the way around side windows to clear up a little bit as much as possible so I can point it out the window without having to roll it down. Alright, we are just about to the dam, you guys. Just about there. We knock on wood, we still haven't slipped once in this car. Of course, I'm not driving like a maniac like I usually do in this weather because I don't have snow tires, so I'm being extra cautious. I'm telling you what, those snow tires really, oh no. That's such a bummer. I am, so, oh, I, I hope they're okay. I hope they didn't hit any rocks right there. They, were, they, they didn't hit the rocks. That just sucks. They, they looked fine. The person looked totally fine. You guys got to be careful. That's what happens up here. You guys got to be careful. A lot of times I'll stop. Especially if I don't see any people. To make sure that they're okay. Alright, let's get some good views of the lake here now. Oh yeah, it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. And there's blue skies over by Baldwin. That's how it is, guys. When I'm not so tired for these videos, I'll definitely do the complete valley tour.
right, guys, be very careful driving up here. That was a beautiful new car, too, that was that got stuck on the side because they slid into that little snow, snow burn on the right. Yeah, it's blue skies over in Baldwin, if you guys can see way out there, where the clouds kind of end a little bit. I'm gonna turn up, turn this up again just for a little bit. Try to get some more snow off of this bad boy. That is so pretty, you guys. That is so pretty. So lucky to live here, you guys. I am so lucky to live here. I was raised in Newport Beach, right on the water, and now I live up here. Two beautiful places. Completely different places, but two very beautiful places. Gorgeous. Over here in the this part of Fawn Skin area, they got a, maybe about the same as, as I got at my house. Usually this area and over by the dam will have a lot more than even where I live, but it wasn't a big storm. So it's not a, a significant difference. But I guarantee you in Baldwin Lake, there's probably nothing out there. At least nothing that's stuck. Not enough snow on that side typically. For instance, when we get a foot of snow over here, there's usually like two inches over there and it's only eight miles away from the dam. Same elevation and everything, you guys. Same, but unfortunately they just don't get much snow over there. about to enter Fonskin. This view right here where this house is located is one of my favorite in the whole town. Just incredible, just incredible that view. Yeah, it's just gorgeous guys. Coming up to the eagle habitat, where a lot of people like to watch those eagles on, on YouTube. 
think it's just right over in here somewhere. Like right in here or right in here on this next little part. Officially in Fonskin right now. Don't blink or you'll miss it. guys take bailing. Look at how fast it's going. Hang on a second. Hey baby. Good morning. I'm in the middle of making a video. What's going on? Can you hear me? Hang on a second. Let me turn, turn this, this air down. It's so, so hot in here. Can I get back to you, man? I'm I'm making this up. Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. Alrighty. So yeah, they didn't get a whole bunch of snow over here. No place in town really got much. Back up to 26 degrees. By the way, guys, those of you still watching, next week, starting Sunday or Monday, we, sh uh, we, we could be getting a, a pretty significant storm. So let's keep our fingers crossed about that. with snow it's nice because there's no green or brown anywhere it's just beautiful white snow everywhere
hope that wasn't too annoying hearing that windshield defroster blowing in you guys' ear. perspective on the other side of the lake on highway 38 26 degrees and we've almost done the loop when I get back I'm going to see what you guys want to eat okay then I'll go get it. people in front of us are going at a decent pace so that's good whenever you guys have someone behind you up here if you're going really slow in this type of weather don't feel bad about turning out that's what you're supposed to do never ever speed up to appease the people behind you because I know we a lot of us don't want to be that person who's slowing everyone down and um, and technically, like, yeah, you, you're not supposed to do that anyway. But, uh, um, yeah, just don't hesitate to turn out at the next place you can possibly turn out. And if you have to do it multiple times, don't let it get to you. Just stay safe. Stay alive. Don't get stuck. On the summit. So if this next storm is fairly significant and we keep the colder temperatures, we could open up the ski resorts early. Okay, this turn right here, I've seen so many cars go off this set. Not seen them, like watch them go off, but uh, seen cars like just sitting in this dish right, right down here. And I know it's, 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 it's not your responsibility, guys, but if you ever see someone like that when you're driving around here, don't assume that they've been helped already, especially in a bad situation like that. Don't assume they've been helped. Just uh, maybe if, if, you if, you, if you can, if you have a minute, check them out. If you can't, maybe let the authorities know that there's a car over the edge because that's not normal. It's not like we have cars over the edge that just stay there for years and years and years or months and months or weeks and weeks or even days. Chances are someone's probably in trouble. So we wanna make sure we take care of you guys the best we can. And I know a lot of you are so helpful in so many situations. Look at, look at Snow Summit, just gorgeous guys, wow.
these are just a tiny bit of light snow flurries from this last bit of the cloud coming through clouds with moisture and that's it that's gonna be it Stanfield cut off now. There's North Shore Elementary. I love this view of our lake. They didn't used to have this fence in here or anything. It was a much better view. And this is the Baldwin area over there. Look, see? Clearing out already over there. Not much snow way out. Well, I guarantee you if we drove all the way out there, there, there would hardly be any snow. You'd, yeah, there'd be hardly anything. I'm sure they got snow, but not enough to accumulate anything. It's so weird to me how that works. Anyway, we just did the wrap around the lake. Thank you guys for being so cool always. Your comments really, really, really are amazing to me. You guys are so loving and so caring. Boom, there's no summit. So I'll be doing this over the weekend through Monday and Tuesday probably as well. It's a lot of weather. It's a lot of weather. That's my friend Vince. Vince! Ah, that, that's my buddy. He's, he's like the most amazing, uh, just lumberjack that guy he's a big dude he's a big dude really really neat guy I like him a lot I wish this guy was going a little faster so I could say hi as Vince has his window open Alright guys, well we are done with this video. This is the aftermath. There's, there's not going to be any more accumulation. This is it. So as I said, these are just a few little snow flurries coming down from the last of this little bit of, uh, of clouds with any moisture coming through, but it's, it's nothing. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful safe rest of your day. The next video to be uploaded will probably be the uh the time lapse and that will be tomorrow you guys take care and thanks again for everything thanks for always showing me so much love you guys i can't i i, I can't express it enough i can't even articulate how much this means to me thank you guys you guys make me feel so good thank you so anyway we'll shut it off now take care <laughs>